Welcome back to another edition of Soka Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Alana. Alana, welcome back. And we're doing spring fragrances today. And these are spring, but they also happen to be great to wear to like work in the office as oh, well cool. or school. Um, but that's Rings the nice thing out. about spring fragrances because you can wear them anytime. Anytime. I almost I hit you in the face there. <laughs> take me out. Take, no. take her out. Uh, run that back. Run it no, back. All I right. honestly love spring fragrances, so I'm very excited. Yeah. There's the one I smell like my all time favorite, Gucci Love. Was Gucci Guilty spring? Love. Yes. Spring. That's like. Uh, Glacial Essence, she also mm -hmm. obsessively loved. Spring. Mm -hmm. um, and there are also excited. ones that are good for like school and work in the office too, so that you can yeah. wear them year round. Perfect. Um, but I think they, those are the only ones I give a to. Yes. There's very few super winners for you. And those were two of them. So, so go watch those videos. Go those watch those videos. Gucci Guilty Love and um, Glacial Essence were, yeah. were her vibes. So this we'll is see if these are the vibes. You ready? Oh yeah, let's do it. You ready? I'm so ready. I love springtime fragrances. You know, so I, I hope these hold up. To me, these are all fresh, versatile fragrances. Mm -hmm. And to me, my favorite kind of fragrance is fresh, versatile, just because you can wear it whenever, dumb reach, grab and go. Simple. Simple, not think about it. And most people are going to think you smell quite nice. Oh, I like this. This reminds me of like, um, there's this one scent I've always been trying to track down and I can't remember what it is, but I smelled it the first time when I was in Italy and it was like a perfume they had there. It was just so fresh and so nice. And this kind of smells like that. Like I- Is your vibe? Yeah, I really love this kind of smell. Um, specifically, like, I don't know if it's like unisex or what, but like I would wear this. Like, I like these kind of- I always of feel like the fresh scents like this mm -hmm. can be worn by anybody. Yeah, like I love those, like I love that. It is designed for men technically, mm -hmm. but like I can 100% like picture a girl wearing it as well and not blinking twice. Yeah, it smells so nice. It smells clean, but it doesn't smell like clean to the point of like sterile. It smells like clean, but like personality. So mm -hmm. I like that. Um, it smells like flowers. It smells like outdoors. It smells very pretty. Yeah, scale 10. I'm gonna, ooh, I don't wanna like start too high. I'm gonna give this like an eight, 8.5. 8 I, I really like this. For me, it smells like a, uh, a uh, candy citrus sitting on mm. like a soft aquatic. Wow. Like a little watery candy citrus, right? <laughs> um, I really dig no. this one as yeah. well. And um, I like the bottle too, the bottle's cool. Right, little ropes in that. Right, it's like C. And this is called Artisan. Ooh. With the little artisan roping. Oh. And teal, because it's teal. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. I, yeah. That's a really nice smell. I'm excited for the dry down. Yeah, eight and a half. Great. I'm starting strong. Starting Told strong. Told you like spring scents. Yes, oh. you did. <laughs> Test her down! We are back. Number two. Oh, it's all goes. It does have a really good mister. Mm -hmm. Let everyone know how you feel about this one. Okay, interesting. It smells not nearly as bright and as welcoming as that first one I just smelled. Right. It smells a little bit more like musky maybe, like a little, has like darker person, like hints in it. Mm -hmm. I like it, it definitely smells more like masculine. I don't know if I love it, but I like it. I'm trying to think. I'm excited for the dry down. I feel like this might be one that kind of surprises me a little bit. Right, once you go back to it. Yeah, but right now, it's. I think it's still trying to figure itself out. Like, it doesn't have a bold personality for me. Mm -hmm. Scale 10. Six. Six, but you like this one. I like it. I just can't figure it out yet. So we're waiting on the dry down on mm -hmm. this one. So this could drastically change good or bad love for it. you. Yeah. It might be the winner. Who knows? Yeah, Stay tuned. This uses uh, an Alimi resin, which kind of has this orange resin as vibe. Ooh. And that's what I get from it. So it's like, it's like, I understand what you're saying. Those are like darker, muskier tones mm -hmm. to it, but it smells very different. It does. Yeah. It's nice though. I'm excited to revisit it. This is a Dior Homme Sport 2021. Ooh. I'll be on the market a year. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Number three. Number three. Here's the third guy. Ooh. Okay, I 
really like this, but it does remind me of a place, like most things do. This smells like, there's this juice bar I love on uh, Ventura Boulevard called Royalty Juice Bar. And it smells just fresh <laughs> and like juices when you walk in and you're like, I'm being healthy. Um, I would tell you my favorite food there, but they're always sold out, so I don't want to cause more people selling it out. But I love this spot. And this smells like that. It smells just like fresh and inviting and healthy. <laughs> and knowing I you're like thinking it. of juice bar, juice mm -hmm. bars use a ton of ginger, and this one mm -hmm. uses ginger. Ginger, probably. That's it. I, I really like this. It just smells, it's like a great, I wouldn't even say summery. Like, yeah. it's spring, summer, just fun. It has like an energetic sense to it. I, I, I like this a lot. Cool. Again, probably be a great candle. Yeah, scale 10. Ooh, um, I'm gonna give it like 7.58. Cool, this was my most worn scent last year. It was brand new fragrance last year, wore more than any others. I like it because it kind of has this pickle ginger cord to it. Interesting. And the citrus on it just make it really inviting. Mm -hmm. So That's, yeah. it's one you can just spray on and just feel welcoming wherever you go. But you described it as like, oh, it's super welcoming and easy to like. That's why I like wearing it. So. Oh, I cool. love it. This is Lacoste Blanc Au Fresh. Ooh, excited for the trash. Yes. Cool. That one's really nice. So seven and a half, eight? Yeah. All right. Or was it eight and a half? I don't remember, something like that. Well, what do you want to score it? Let's see the score. Eight. Eight. Go in the middle. Go right in the middle. I have been ready for this one. Oh boy, high expectations. Let everyone know. To me, this is gonna be a story time fragrance from you. Oh boy. How do you feel about this one? This smells like, oh my God, you know what it smells like? It smells like um, pickleback shots. Like, it's, do you know what that is? <laughs> I don't. It's, I think it's like, it's pickle juice and like Jameson and they call it a pickleback shot. Um, that's what this smells like to me. Cause, and there's this little bar that's like an Irish pub or something and they always do pickleback shots and that's uh -huh. this smell. So. Do you like that smell? I like it in that setting. I could not imagine this on somebody. I don't, it's weird because I do like pickleback shots and I'm like, oh, like, um, but I have to remember that this is a fragrance that somebody might wear. Yeah. And. I feel like this could be very weird, very quickly. To me, it smells like cucumber Gatorade. Hmm. So like, I also think it's weird. Yeah, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. I almost just say like, smell it. Um, I don't know if you'd wear it. Maybe you would, let me know. It's weird. Yeah, scale 10. Three. Three. So what I found about this one is I have worn it and I only wear it once in a blue moon because it is so weird. Wait, where do you wear it? Uh, I've worn it on a business trip and I was just wearing a suit and I was like, you know what? I feel like smelling like cucumber Gatorade. Right yeah, now. yeah, and it kind of worked, mm -hmm. but it's not something I, I can't imagine anybody making this like their signature scent. Yeah. Like this is like once in a while. And I know a lot of, there's people that really like this one, but then there's people that straight up do not like yeah. it. <laughs> it's I'm, very polarizing. I was gonna say, it sounds polarizing. Um, It'll be interesting for the dry down. I, I, I would have a hard time really smelling this on someone and being like, wow, you smell yeah. great. Yeah, their, their concept was like a fresh, a fresh steamed shirt. And it uses like futuristic notes. My hot take on that is I think they missed the mark a little bit on a fresh steamed yeah, it doesn't shirt. That smells really, like more linen-y or like. Yeah, it doesn't really remind me of a steamed shirt, but. No. That's why I wore it on my business trip because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, there is for a business gentleman anyways. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing a suit and I was like, let me just try it. It worked okay for that, but it's not something I would wear for that yeah. most times. So Interesting. Cool. We'll wait for it on the dry down. Yeah, it's definitely pickles to me. Pickles. But I love pickles. Hot girls love pickles. <laughs> Whenever I get a sandwich, I'm like, extra pickles, please. It's funny. I always joke on the channel. I was like, Hot girls always love pickles, so the fragrances that remind people of pickles, a lot of times they do really? like, like the last one was pickled ginger. Oh. So a lot of girls were like, this is great. And then there's another fragrance that also smells like pickles. And You're so like, hot girls always like pickles. <laughs> Are you ready? I guess so. We'll find well, out. 
Whether you're ready or not, it's happening. Here it comes. I just felt like the office episode where Michael Scott's like, it's happening. It's happening. He's like Come running. On. It's like I can't get out. Oh, um, okay. This smells familiar. What does this smell like? Oh, you're gonna. When I tell you what I think it smells like, uh -huh. you're gonna be like, oh. Um, what do your parents do for a living? They're dentists. They are dentists. Don't tell me what you think of yet. I know what it is. It smells minty. Because I was going to say, it smells... No, <laughs> you might have triggered it. But no, it does smell like when they do that fluoride cleaning or like the... They go in and like... To me, it smells like sexy mouthwash. Okay, that works too. But you're thinking of like the polishing mm -hmm. toothpaste? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells very minty. Yeah. No, you're totally right. But fresher. It's definitely fresher than that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh but I'm no, saying like not... there's more citrus in this. Oh than yeah, yeah, totally. Like yeah. That's what I meant. You, you're not putting like crest on your and being right, like, right. Yeah, no. It definitely smells like minty. With yeah, you're right. Like it's brighter. Like can you imagine this on like a spring day outside oh, with this like nice. minty vibe on yourself? Just like a smell like mint. Um, yeah, no, it's really nice. It smells like fresh mint, not like peppermint. Right. Which is like, no, it's really nice. I don't know if I would love a lot of it, so I'm gonna give it like a six. Because I feel like there's other fragrances I smelt today, well, at least on the opening, that were a little, had more personality than this. This feels just straight like mint. Right. That's why I literally wear this on spring days mm -hmm. and when I'm out and about outside. And it it's invigorating because when you smell mint in general, it's like, ah, oh, mint. Fresh. Like mint and water? Mint and water, like, yeah. yeah. So this is, I use it as like an uplifting daytime scent when I'm walking like outside in LA. And hmm. that's my vibe. But six out of 10. Yeah. And we'll let it dry down and then we'll retest it. But we got one more left before the dry downs, so. Do we? We do. No way. All right. I thought we were transitioning to dry downs. We weren't. I we got a fancy. surprise. <laughs> mm, coffee. People never think we have coffee out. And I'm like, there's literally coffee in every single video. Yeah, might just get like. And I just edited it out. It's not the most exciting part. Yeah. But we do have coffee sitting here. We love it's our true. coffees. I don't remind me the one time I think I did, and then I had coffee on my nose. Probably didn't see that, but. Now everyone's gonna go through a lot of videos to find where she has coffee on <laughs> Which, her nose. To prove we do smell coffee in between them. We do. That's my tangent. And you ready for the last one? I am. Okay. We'll let everyone know how you feel about this guy. Now this smells like cucumbers to me. Okay. Which is interesting. I feel like. I was gonna transition to a song right now because I was like a first line of song, but that's not what. I'm... <laughs> um, it's fading like quickly on here, which is interesting. Like I smelled it initially, it's like oh, cucumbers, and now it's like, where is it? Um, it's nice and it's fresh. It has another smell that I just can't pinpoint right now. I don't know what it is, but there's something else with that cucumbery smell. Um, I don't want to say orange. It smells a little different than that, but. It want, smells good. Do you want me to tell you what's in it? Yes. So there's peach, nectarine, mm -hmm. there's sage. Peach. Yeah. That's what I'm smelling, like, peach. And I can smell a tint of the sage, but I was smelling the peach. I like it. It smells like a water to me. Like, it's like, oh, you just had a really good water, like cucumber and fruit. And I can set, it's like, see like, oh, you're going to wear this to be like fresh. Yeah. But to me, it's a little timid. I don't know the right word. Like, it's not... A bold fragrance. Right. Which I think that's the intention of mm -hmm. it too, is to be like a second skin on a mm. person. I see. Because when I wear it, like you can spray it heavy, but like I wear it and it's like, oh, you don't smell me until I either give you a hug or I walk right past you, but then you really smell Interesting. me. I could see that. Yeah. I like it. I just don't know if I would like love it on somebody. Okay. So I'm going to give it like a five. Five. So right in the middle for you yeah. right now. Not bad, but not great for yeah. you. We will smell it on the dry down though, and that could improve. So we'll see. So we'll see. Him too. We'll be back in a little bit, and then Alana's gonna let us know if she likes him better, worse, or the, the same. same. Yes. See you soon. Ah. Yeah. What just remind me of? When Luke had that one scent that he wanted me to try early on in the videos, and then he was like, everyone loves this, and I go, no. Oh, I literally just edited that video, and really? I like, put it as a clip onto <laughs> the channel. Um, He's like, every girl loves this scent, yeah. and I was like, no. 
I posted the clip right before that moment happened mm-hmm. though. He's like, pause, here's a bonus reaction. <laughs> So, for those of you that are just watching, we're talking about a clip in one of our first videos. Yeah. <laughs> and Luke tried to show Alana a fragrance, and then the second she smelled it, she well, was Well, he like, prefaced it by saying, like, he goes, I have this scent. It's like a bonus scent. Every girl that loves it loves this scent. He's like, he runs out so excited. He, like, comes back. And then Alana was like, oh, no. I was like, no. And that fragrance was rich, warm, addictive by Zara. <laughs> Click below. Yeah, honestly, click to our early scent videos. That was one of the first. first one. Yeah. So Lana was the first guest ever on the channel. I have one more. This is a secret plot twist, secret weapon. This is, I'm not, I'll tell you after, but okay. I just want you to smell this one. Here, give me this. And just see what you think about it compared to these other ones. No. <laughs> <laughs> and this what was that one, Luke? It's a no from- Wait, this is the first one I don't like. From Zara's. <laughs> Tobacco collection, rich, warm, addictive. And now we're back on the dry downs. We did it. We made and it. And you're still here. You are. And they're gonna let you're gonna let us know. You're gonna let them know what yes. you think of these. Better, worse, or the same. I'm excited. All right. So <laughs> your favorite was actually the very first one you smelled, which was artisan teal. Okay, I still like this. Yeah. Honestly, though, I like the opening of it a little bit more than the dry down of it. Okay. Because I feel like the brightness that I initially was like gravitating towards kind of disappeared right now. Right. So I like it, but it actually reminds me a little bit more of the second one I then smelled. So it's, I'm going to be interested to smell that. Okay. Um, I like it. I would rank it the same. I'm going to keep it the same just because I do tend to really like these kinds of smells. Cool. But you still scored it good to begin yeah, with. Yeah. I so. think I gave it an eight. Yes. No, eight and a half. Ooh, okay. I think it was an eight and a half. Ooh. It was either an eight or eight and a half. Let's bring it to like an eight. Okay. So the same or a little bit worse? Yeah, like we can deduct 0. 0.5. But you still love it. Yeah, I still really like it. Cool. Uh, Dior Homme Sport 2021. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't like this one anymore. Okay. I don't know if I liked it to begin with, but I really... Mm-mm. You were waiting for the dry down. Yeah, this it smells just like... The parts that I was questioning that I didn't really like just emphasize themselves more. And I yeah. don't like that. Mm-mm. It smells... Maybe I'm just being a hater on it, but... Why are you being a hater, <laughs> Lana? Um, it's fine. It's nothing... I wouldn't I wouldn't be gravitated towards this to the smell. Would you think the guy smelled bad if he was wearing this? No, you wouldn't smell bad. It's just a scent that I wouldn't be like, oh my god, you smell amazing. Be like, oh, you smell nice. Yeah, like I can tell you took a shower and put some nice cologne on. Yeah, you took you take care of yourself. Yeah, like. And there's nothing wrong with that either. No, no, no. And yeah. this might smell yeah. great on you and better than like here. And I might like come across and be like, "Yo, you smell so good. What are you wearing?" And you're like, "That scent that you didn't love." Right. And I'm like I was wrong. Um, but it's good. Nothing special for you. It's though. not for me. Cool. And then let's go. Um, here we have. Lacoste Blanc Eau Fresh. You liked this one quite a bit on the opening as well. This one reminded you of, I don't know, the juice bar. Oh, interesting. Okay, it still kind of smells like that, but I don't know why I kind of smell wasabi right now. It's the pickled ginger, like. Is it? Okay. Cause I was like, is this gonna be crazy? We had, but... I had another guest go, it, it reminds me of sushi, but it was because yeah. of the pickled ginger. Yeah. That's what I'm smelling. I'm like, why is it smelling like that right now? Yeah. I like it, but I might have to deduct like half a point because honestly the opening was so nice and so great. And I'm not feeling that same like cozy welcome that I initially felt when I first smelled this. No, yeah. but you still like it. I still like it. I just like the opening better. Um, H24, Eau de Parfum. Which one was this one? Is this the this weird is, one? This was the pickled shot. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I can smell. Yeah, it still smells like that. Mm mm. You're like, nope. Surprisingly, though, it didn't really change. Yeah. It's still weird. It's, for me, when I've worn it, it stayed pretty consistent. Yeah. It just lightly faded. Mm hmm. It didn't really go through, like. No. If anything, they said, like, let's turn up the pickle a little more. But. You're like, nope. Nope. All right, then we have uh, Atlantis. Oh, this is kind of. This is nice. This was this the uh, the peach nectarine sage mm. one. This one you were waiting for the dry down on because it was really yeah. light for you to begin with. 
it honestly got a little stronger. Um, or the flavors kind of just went phew. Um, I just, I can't picture it on somebody. So that's kind of my hurdle. Yeah. Like I couldn't really see somebody wearing this. It smells good though. Like the smells, the scents came together. I think if anything, it smells a little bit more peachy right now for mm -hmm. me. Then still, I still really smell the cucumber. So it's like cucumber peach. It smells fresh still. It just, I don't think I would love this fragrance for like a long period of time on somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we have Polo Clone Intense. Oh boy. Oh, this is nice. This smells like just simple, easy, fresh, nice. I like it. It's nothing like overly unique. Right. So it's just like a simple, like not too much thought. I just want to smell good. I want to smell clean. Do you see why I wear it on like a spring day? Yeah. Yeah. Like I can see why you, is that that one? It's uh, this one. Oh, that's a mint one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, then I like, I didn't realize it was that one. I like that honestly a little bit better. It doesn't smell as minty. Like it has more happening. Okay. So hold down your, so you got better for you? Yeah. Um, what would you score now? What did I give it initially? Don't remember. What would you I'm score right now? I'm gonna boost it a point or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on your right hand. Left hand is the Cost Blanco Fresh. Honestly, I'm surprised that the mint, that got better. Got a lot better for you. Mm -hmm. Lacoste Blanco Fresh. I'm shocked to say this. You know what it smells like now? What? It smells like, um, like pools in like, chlorine pool sometimes like when you have the pools at the um, like the amenities yeah that's what this smells like now um I think, are you gonna which one's gonna win i'm gonna go with minty mint okay yeah. then we have um hold on mint in your right on your left hand is artisan teal which was your favorite on the opening still think you liked it on the dry down you did bump it I down do. a little bit but honestly i'm shocked i'm saying this i think i'm still gonna vote mint Mint. Which is really surprising because I do love this smell, but when I smell them together, there's just more freshness in this than this. This keeps getting darker and darker the more I smell it. Uh -huh. And I tend to like more... That mint's really invigorating. Yeah, you know? and I like fresher scents. So... Cool. Mint is the surprise. And... Are you going to have... I'm, I'm not even going to have you do the others. Really? You dropped all the other ones a little bit. Well, So your winner today was mint. Polo Cologne intense oh by ralph that. lauren uh i really like that scent as well to me it's just like a spring day mm -hmm. it's office safe it's school safe yeah and it doesn't smell like it'd be overwhelming yeah so literally just spray and it's to me it's sexy mouthwash sexy mouthwash look at that cool thank you a lot for joining of us course. thanks for having me be sure to follow us right down somewhere below here. right somewhere ish yeah. in the air bye guys bye friends I'm literally, okay. Your kind of fame is on TikTok now. I know, I got a few little ones. Jeff Ria uh, invented me on TikTok. <laughs> Did you know I existed on that right? platform? Right, you're like, I thought I was just, you're like, musically? Oh yeah. <laughs> I honestly made it as a joke when I was living with Julie and Leona. No. And then we were like, oh my God, how fun would it be to create like really stupid video content about singing? If you singing? kept on doing that, you would make I would I know. You'd be viral famous by now. Did you see my original ones on there? I never watched them. Oh, okay, good. That's probably better. They're there, though. I'll have to go through them. We'll pull it up ah. after this. <laughs>